Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Let's Play Slay the Spire. My name is Weasel and today we're going to check out this roguelike card game. Yes, um, the best comparison that I heard or explanation to me was if you ever played a Dominion card game or a board game, whatever you want to call it, uh, basically uh, this is very similar to it and that is all I know. It looks very interesting. I do like roguelikes. I do like card games. And I'd love to check it out with you guys, play it a little bit, see if we like it, and maybe keep going. But for now, let's just go play and learn about it together. So I can choose my character, which is only this one, the Ironclad. Uh-huh, 80 health points, 99 gold. The remaining soldier of the Ironclads. Sold his soul to harness demonic energies. I, I like the sound of that. Burning blood at the end of combat heals 6 HP, 6 unlocks remaining. Alright, I, I guess I can work with that. Let's go ahead and embark with our... Hero. All right, Act One, Exordium. Okay, so this is, uh, I guess, the path that we can go up. And you know, given it's a roguelite, we will die a lot. Maybe we'll eventually make it up there. All right, it's like the starting room. Ugh. I think I'm going to go with this one. Well, let's go with this one. There's more choices straight off the bat. Looks super chaotic. That's my that's my jam. All right. I don't know what's a good starting room and what is not. Defeat enemies by playing cards from your hand. Cards require energy to play once you're out and your turn. At the start of your turn, new cards are drawn and your energy is replenished. Sounds good to me. Play a defensive card to gain block when enemies are brought to attack you. Block reduces an incoming attack damage, but wears off at the start of your next turn. During your turn, you can observe an enemy's intent above them. If an enemy is intent on attacking you, be sure to gain some block. All right. That's pretty straightforward, and we're not going to get a whole lot of variety of cards uh, to, you know, not overwhelm us, which I certainly appreciate. So we have two things going to attack us and one strategic. This enemy intends to inflict a negative effect on you. Okay, I guess since this guy is going to attack us for five damage, we're going to defend us, and we have three energy. So, okay, I have a block. Uh, how about I just deal some damage to, I guess, doesn't really matter which one. I'm gonna go with the one in the back. You wanna pose a negative effect on me? Not a fan. Oh, wait. Can I only attack one once? Hmm, not sure. Anyway, let's keep going. We're learning. So, he's attacking me, which I did block, and he's throwing a spit web at me, which my attacks now deal 25% less, tw uh, less damage for two turns. Okay, four damage, I, I see. Deal six damage, apply to vulnerable. Vulnerable creatures take 50% more damage from attacks. I like the sound of that. Let's throw that onto this guy. How much I have one left? I guess I should put a defend on, because it's going to give me a lot of damage. Eh. Yeah, sure, let's do that. I only had one. Anyway, cool. So we're going to end our turn getting attacked. We should be fine. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, we're looking good. I will be able to survive the tutorial level. No more cards. If there are no cards, your discard pile is shoveled into the draw pile. Just like in Dominion, when you're empty, you get all that stuff back. And once you gain cards into your hand, you know, you are more likely to draw those. And this is, I think, where the roguelite... Um, effect comes in. Alright, I guess we're gonna gain some block. They're not really intending to attack me, but whatever. Let's go and keep attacking this Laos. Okay, one health left, and I don't think there's a point in putting any more blocking on me here. I guess we're gonna... Oh, it goes directly into the discard pile, just like in Dominion. Yup! If you don't... No, in Dominion they don't go to the discard pile once you're done with them, you just... Oh yeah, okay, now we're gonna make some damage. Excellent. So I'm gonna start here with you, you louse. Do some more damage. And, oh, I don't have enough energy. Right. Right. Cool. So we're gonna kill him in the next one, completing our first match. Yeah, I'm pretty clear on how this works, and so far I like the idea. This is a pretty nice take on that genre. Uh, loot 15 gold, add a card to your deck. Hmm. I'm gonna go with add a card to your deck. Ooh, look at that. And we get to pick what we want. Deal 9 damage, place a card from your discard pile on the top of your draw pile. Deal 6 damage, deal damage plus 2 for all of your cards containing strike. This looks like a fun one. Because we had quite a few of those on hand. Uh, gain 2 energy and then exhaust. Nope. I'm not a fan of that mechanic. And 15 gold. We get both. Ha. Alright, so. Legend unknown. They're up for the next room. Let's see what happens to us. 
The wheel of change. You come up upon a dapper looking cheery gremlin. It's time to spin the wheel. Are you ready? Of course you are. Oh, jeez. Oh, I guess I'm ready. Let's let's go. Let's spin the wheel. I wish you could actually spin it. Why you just press a button? That's okay. What is that? I don't like the symbol. That is not a comfortable symbol. Looks like you want a curse. That's not good. Oh, well. Better luck next time. Prize? Curse. Decay. At the end of your turn, take two damage. Damn! That is rude. I guess I'm going to do that constantly now. Ooh. Okay. Merchant. How much? We have 114 gold. We might as well check him out. All right. Welcome. Mm, yes. What you got? You got some cards for sale. Ancient tea set. Bag of preparation. Hmm. Dem damage to all enemies. Upgrade all of your cards for the rest of combat. Exhaust. Ah, man. I don't know what's good right now, but I like the opportunity. Place a copy of this card into your discard pile. Anger. Oh, I like anger. It's on sale as well. Fuck yeah. I need some sale. Of course I'm going to go for that. And a potion that deals 10 damage. Card removal service. Remove the card from your deck. The cost of the service increases by 25 for the rest of this turn. Can I... Okay. Have a quick look. The... Oh, look at that. I can't actually... I should be able to remove... DK from my deck that way. Yay! Okay. That's better. I'm pretty much out of money. And I'm going to leave the merchant. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I came by. Well, that's a good time. Let's go ahead and go into the enemy room. Not only just a plain old enemy. Who are you? Slaver! You don't even have any slaves with you. I don't like like you. I don't really don't like you. Deal four damage, place a card into your discard pile. That's fine for damage. I'm gonna throw up a defense. Oh, 12. Uh, let's add two blocks and another strike. This guy has way more health. But so far, so good. We should be able to block 10 of those. <laughs> yaw! Yaw! What an attack. What an attack. Deals 18 damage. Uh, deals an additional two for all cards containing strike. I do like that. Let's do. Um, pew! 18 damage. So I have... Uh, I'm gonna throw up a block. Fine, I'll take like a few hit points. But I think my health regenerates. At least I hope it does. I'm gonna have to learn about that. Right now it's a 70. Sue, anger. Oh, another 18 damage. And... I can do another strike, and that does it. That was an easy one. I guess we're gonna keep our health, but we got up by six, 12 gold, and we're gonna add fire breathing. At the end of your turn, for each attack played this turn, deal one damage to all enemies. Love it, got it. Oh wait, I get to choose a few more. Um, I guess this is a rare, blue. Gain five block, upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. Hmm, that sounds quite useful. For each attack point this turn, deal one damage to all enemies. <sighs> this seems to be really helpful with multiple enemies. Can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. Hmm. I imagine this being possible if you get rid of the other cards in your hand. So I'm gonna go with Clash or whatever it was called. Ooh! Sorry, I'm gonna have to go with Unknown and then there's gonna be Rest, which probably makes sense anyway to check out the rest and then we don't have to go to an elite i'm not ready for that yet that's too much too much responsibility a strange blue humanoid with a golden helm approaches you with a huge smile hello friend i'm cleric are you interested in my services the creature shouts no i'm not i'm leaving because i have no money you don't trust this cleric so you leave yeah that's the reason it's not that i have only 29 gold and can't afford anything but that's fine all right what shall I do? Rest or smith? Upgrade a card in your deck. Ooh. I like that. Since we're pretty high on health points, we're just going to improve a card on in my deck. And I'd like... I wonder if I can improve Clash. Nah. Let's do Upgrade Bash. Uh, upgrades it to 10 damage and 3 vulnerable. What about a Strike? Brings it up to 9 damage. Uh, or 8 block. What about this one? Ooh, deals an additional three damage for all of your cards containing strike. Yeah, I'm gonna go with per I'm gonna upgrade perfected strike. That's gonna make it pretty baller. Excellent. It's already made a lot of damage, but that should help. A merchant. Damn it, I don't have the money. I'm 
Anything on sale that I can... Nope, I can't afford anything. Bye! That was a good time. Good talk. Let's go for an enemy, but there's treasure. Oh, there's treasure everywhere, so I'm just gonna go for this enemy. It works. Alright. Acid slime with its four eyes and a poop. A uh, spike slime. Hmm, spike slime. Alright. So, this... Deal for damage, place a copy of this card into the discord pile, doesn't even cost me anything. Uh, obviously we want to throw up some block, because these guys are going to do quite a bit of damage. And I should be able to take this guy out, he only has 10... Uh, 10 health. Sure, let's do that. 6 damage, and then we're going to do another 4 damage on him, putting this back in our... Uh, pile or a copy, I think, and then we still have one left, and we're gonna deal one more damage to our acid slime. That's good. We're gonna take five damage. I can handle that. I like the background. This is really neat. Okay, guys. Ha! Ah, what to do? Obviously, we're gonna do seven damage. So we're gonna throw up a defend. Can only play it if every card in your hand is a an attack. Well, now it is. Giving him fourteen damage and. It's not going to be enough to take him out this turn, but I'm sure next turn is going to look better. And he only does 7 damage, so we're not even going to do that. Looking good. I don't even think I need to do anything else other than just attack him. That was a fairly easy round. 8th floor. We're going to take 10 gold, and we're going to add... Hmm. Deal 13 damage, apply 1 weak, 1 vulnerable. Uh, or 3 damage to a random enemy 3 times. I think I'm going to go with this. This is guaranteed damage. Even though the other one might, you know, make it able to attack free minions. Okay, where do I want to go? Ah, uh, merchant. I don't know if I'm going to have the money for the merchant, so I'm going to head to the right-hand side. And see what's in the treasure. 53 gold and a pen nib. Deal, every 10th attack you play deals double damage. Oh, it's, that's a cute one. I like that. At the end of combat, heals 6. All right. I do like this roguelike, these roguelike elements where you get stuff for your individual runs. This is fantastic. So far. All right. Spore clouds. Ugh. Are you just a hovering dead... Oh, it's a fungi beast. It's just a dead rat and you're just... Ugh. That is actually really goddamn gross. That is really gross. All right. We're gonna... What are you doing? Oh, he intends to use a buff. Okay, so we're not gonna need to block any damage. Because that's gonna be gone at the end of the turn. And we're gonna deal another 4 damage. Put another in the discard pile, and that's it for our turn. Yeah, you go ahead and buff yourself. Bring yourself some strength. Increases attack damage by 3. What does the fungi mean? On death applies vulnerable to you for 2 turns. Ooh, that's rude to say the least. So this deals 6 damage, 6 damage, so we could take those out. We only have 3 energy. Hmm. 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 Throw up a defend and take out this sucker, leaving us with, what is it, 8 damage we're gonna take? Eh, what can you do? We're gonna heal back 6 and maybe I'm gonna be even able to take him out within the next turn. Uh, yeah. Deal 24 damage. That sh <laughs> that should do it. That should definitely do it. A uh, quick look. Uh, I'm not going to be able to deal more damage, though. That is unfortunate. Yeah, it can only be played to every card in your hand as an attack. At least I'm going to throw up a block. So we're still going to take 8 damage. I wasn't able to take him out. That is unfortunate. Oh, well. You live, you learn. And let's go ahead and... And this beast. What's our loot? Give me my loot. 16 explosive potion. Right, I had those. No, I did, did I buy that before? God, I don't remember. Anyway, I don't think I bought it. And we're going to add ooh, 7 to all enemies. That could be potentially at least 14 for 2. Deal 9 damage, place a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. That could be interesting if you're getting a really cool card. And that's just 10 damage. Don't really see the. Let's go with a headbutt. That might potentially be interesting and devastating. So here we got a rest, which I do think might be a good thing. Let's go and see what the unknown one does. Oh boy. Remember the one where I said, like, oh man, you know, some AoE damage? That'd be great. Alright, we're gonna throw up some defense. 
And, yep, everything in my hand is attack, so we're gonna deal 14 damage. Taking out the one with the highest HP, you're gonna put a negative effect on me, that's great. Ooh, we're gonna take a lot of damage. Okay, deal 9 damage. This one is going to do 3 that we can negate. And, ooh, on top of my draw pile. Let's go with Clash. That hopefully is gonna work out, we'll see. And... We're gonna take 10 damage here, and a negative buff. Quite alright. We're gonna be able to rest after that, and we're weakened. Luckily, we weren't weakened at first. Deal 36 damage. Ooh, beautiful. So, we wanted the attack card, right. Can only be played if your every card is an attack card, which they are. This is a pretty aggressive deck, I would say. And 21 damage. Eh, might as well... Go here. He's dead. And he is dead. And that's it for my turn. Still gonna take free damage there. Ah, that's nothing. So far so good. This this run is feels fairly um yeah, I guess introductory. That would be the right word. So far nothing tragic. I do wonder what happens if we would reach uh the top floor? I think there's a boss? Ah, we'll see. Metallicize. At the end of a turn, gain a three block. That's a power. Hmm. At the end of your turn, gain three block. That could be really useful as a general power. Is that a thing we have to play out and then it runs? Deal damage equal to your current block. Huh. And I think it would be a good idea to put something into blocking because we have a lot of attack cards. So far, not running into any problems. And we're gonna rest 30% of your HP. We're back up to a maximum of 80. I don't even know if that would have been necessary. Hello? You enter a corridor full of hypnotizing colored mushrooms. Due to your lack of specialization in mycology, you are unable to identify the specimens. You want to escape but feel oddly compelled to eat a mushroom. <laughs> Heal 20, become Cursed Parasite. Uh, I'm just gonna anger the Mushroom and I'm gonna fight them, because I don't wanna take lose 20 HP and get Cursed. Uh, actually, just get Cursed. We would gain 20 HP. So, let's have a look. What we got? We got one person attacking and one thing attacking us. And 24 damage. Ooh, boy. Deal for damage, place a copy in the deck. And we got rid of the one that was going to hurt us. Excellent. End the turn. Uh, we got five defense. Did I put up a block? I think I put up the block myself. That was not a hero power. I might have to play that. So, let's see. Uh, shit, that's a lot of damage. 26 damage. Uh, I'd be able to do 18. So, we're not going to be able to take one out right off the bat. I'm going to go for the weaker one. And I think that's going to be my turn. Ooh, it's going to hurt. That's going to hurt me and my big mouth down to 59 health. Vulnerable wears off. Okay, here's Metal Size giving me three at the end of the turn. So it's nearly as good as a block, but it probably will just keep going. Um, constantly. Can only be played if every card is an attack card. Yes, it is. Gives me 14 damage, so we can take out this sucker. And... Deal 13 and... Oh, wait. Can we? Sure, let's do that. It's not perfect, but at least it's gonna make him weaker. What did the Pendip do? Your next attack deals double damage. Oh, if only... If only I had... Some extra. Anyway, we're gonna take 7 damage. And take out the sucker. Dis disgusting. That is probably one of the more disgusting... Uh... <laughs> uh, creature designs I've seen. I'm, I'm impressed. Ugh. Um, deal 18 damage. Sure. Problem solved. I w we should see if there's maybe a healing card we could put in our hand. Odd Mushroom. When vulnerable, take 25% more damage rather than... Uh, 20... Rather than 50%. Oh, okay. 24 gold. And what do we get? 6 damage. I like Perfected Strike. But... It always takes 2 slots. Hmm. Eh. Perfected Strike is fun. And we're gonna proceed. Look at that, we're getting close to the, I guess, enemy. Uh, the boss. 
So there's going to be rest regardless. Here, for all I know, there's going to be a merchant. Let's see. What do we get? Big question mark. Oh, it is a spike slime. A legendary spike slime has split. When its HP is below 50%, will split into two smaller slimes with spike slime's current health points. Ew. Okay, so for now, he's not going to attack us, but he's going to inflict a negative effect on us. So... Energy costs. Yeah, they require cost to play. Wait. Why do I only have two? Pretty. Oh, never mind. I played Perfected Strike. My mistake. Didn't pay attention. Lick. What? Oh, it licked me. That's fairly awful, I want to say. Deal for damage. Nah, we're good. All right, let's tell a size because a little bit of boost would be a good idea. And now he should be under 50 HP and break apart. Oh, wait. Okay, we got him up to 28. So far, so good. So we should have now two slimes that are 28 HP each. That's manageable, I want to say. 20. Oh, yeah, that is definitely manageable. There you go, 27 damage. Do another strike. And he's out. And that's better than anything that I could have blocked. Eight damage. I'll... I think that's the only damage we've taken so far. Five. All right, let's see. Fourteen... Oh, 27 damage. Sweet. Put that block up, and we are done with him. That makes me very happy. 20 gold. And, ooh, gain one vulnerable or deal nine damage. At the end of your turn, for each attack plate, this turn deal one damage to all enemies. You know what? I'm I'm gonna try fire breathing. That's an interesting uh, power card. Okay, since we're going to a boss, I think I'm gonna sleep, bringing this up to 80, just in case. I don't know if one upgraded card is gonna make all the difference. I assume this is a boss. Mode shift after 30 damage. Changes to a defensive mode. 220 health! Wow, that's a lot of... Ah, <laughs> wow. He intends to block and use a buff. Mm-hmm, I'm sure he is. So, does any of these need to be... No, okay. So to get the most effect of a metallicize, I'm going to cast it now. Always having three defense. And I can deal... 26 damage, one vulnerable. Wow, that's a lot of effects on it. Love it. All right, let's see what he's doing with his weird buff. He's charging up. Ugh. Destroy! Destroy. Like a golem? The guardian. Hmm. Okay, with we do three damage. <sighs> deal eight damage. Deal six. Deal 20 for all your cards containing strike. Yeah, uh, 20 damage. Absolutely gonna go for that. Throw a defend on me, and then I can play Clash. Oh, he's not... He's not taking damage anymore. Is he now? For now, at least. Alright, what are you doing now? You're in defensive mode. Sharp hide. Ugh. What does that mean? He intends to do 9 damage, and whenever you're playing tag, take 3 damage. Mmm. Okay. That's fine. 27... And at the end of your attack for each attack. Oh, this is the fire breathing one. That's an that's an interesting one. I wonder if I should play that or if I should take the I should block, I think. I should block. Should be smart about this. Also, I get to play a free anger card. So far so good. All right, we're down to 73. We're going to take th Oh, 8 times 2. Why why twice? Oh, he intends to use a buff and attack for 8 damage 2 times. What to do? I guess we're going to throw 2 defense on us. Allowing us to play Clash for free. And then... I don't even know if Strike makes sense. Because we're taking 3 damage for each attack. And we're effectively... Giving us 6 damage. And taking 12 damage from him. I'm going to hope I'm going to have a better hand next time. Ow. Rude. Okay, his defensive mode is off. After 40 damage, he's going to change back into that. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Uh, 27 for all, containing strike. I don't think upper damage, uh, upper cut makes any sense. And this is for free, and this is only one. That was not too shabby. He's gonna do 20 damage now. Well, if he keeps up the pace, I'm not gonna be able to survive this much longer. Oh boy! Fire breathing. I did want that one. Sure, let's do that. Let's throw up and throw some uh, uh, strikes onto him. Why did that went up to 12? I have no idea how that happened. Ah, oh, well. Okay, you're in your defensive mode. I'm gonna throw up a block. Should bring this up to 8. He's doing 9 damage. So I don't really care too much. Actually, I do care. Hmm. Okay, let's do some damage. This was blocked. We're gonna throw up another block because we're going to do... Place a copy of this card into your discard pile. This is not worth it, honestly. Place a copy of this card into the discard pile. This is gonna multiply where we're gonna take... If we wait for it to go into the non-defensive mode, this might be worth it. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'll do it. I'll take the 8 damage he's gonna give me now. Especially since we have that hero power. God, he's still in the defensive mode. How annoying. Alright. Give me some block. Do 13 damage. I don't know if I want to attack more. This is going to be 6 health, and he's going to get attacked for 3 health. That's not worth it. Nope. Not worth it! Let's just wait it out. Okay, he's back in his form. And when will he... S After 50 damage, he's going to into defensive mode. That's fine. Uh, 20 damage. 27 damage. That looks good to me. Oh, wait. Shit. Did I just... Oh, I just noticed. That's mode shift. For a second, I thought it was the spiky scales, or whatever you would call it. Okay, he's gonna do 20 damage. I am barely holding on, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to... That's 17 damage right there. Okay. <sighs> Throw some block up here. Oh, wait. Hmm... I'll still be able to play this, so... Uh, snow, no harm done. Deal 4 damage, place this into your hand. Damn it! You had to be! Okay. okay. He's down to 6. He has 16 armor. So I might be able to deal with him... ...fairly well. I think we have him. 16 damage. We're good! Yay! We beat the Guardian. What a wonderful end to this episode. Take the gold, I take the potion, and I'm gonna add another card. Ooh, fancy. Deal four damage to all enemies, heal for unblocked damage dealt. Yes. Absolutely. I love this card. I, don't, I didn't even want to see the other ones. Such a good card. And we're getting another a relic. Choose and add five cards to your deck. Potions always drop after combat. The white beast statue. Or black blood. Replaces burning blood at the end of combat. A heal 10 HP. So instead of six, we get 10 HP. Hmm. I'm gonna do the white beast statue because the potions might be actually quite interesting. All right, I think that uh, uh, concludes it for this episode. And we're going to continue with Act 2, The City, in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go and make sure to leave a like. And check out the game. The link to that is in the description below. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.